Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. This is CG Art Gym. I'm all your fellow Art Gym goer. And what I mean by that is I'm still learning with you and I decided to film that, that process. And yeah, God, it's been a while, guys. Sorry, I've been so busy with life and things. Most of you don't know that I, I was uh, a professional chef and this was last summer I worked as a, as a head chef and opened a restaurant where I live here. And yes, I'm done with that because I, I have transitioned and that, that's been a around one and a half, nearly, it's going to be closer to, yeah, one and a half years transition to complete transition to 3D art and game art and things that I love the most. And I will dedicate a video to just to that to to let you know guys how it was for me and I think that's that could be interesting for some people because I'm in um, nearly 30 year old I've transitioned to a completely different profession uh, that could be interesting I think and yeah somebody could learn from my mistakes maybe and or somebody get motivated as well uh, but that's going to be another video Right, today I wanted to finish that long awaiting second part for a review of that character I started in 3D. The, so I made in the, in the first video, I'll leave a link to in the description. Uh, I've started the, the character concept uh, of its kind of alien fawn uh, because it's kind of my pet project that I'm doing and um, is a second character and uh, I'll show you the, the first character as well later on in later videos um, but this is this is a second character I mean, it's actually the first character but um, I came back to it to to actually to actually finish it second so yeah you could you could say it's a second character now um, yeah, so we're left on a review here of the alien fawn called Leaves, and I was showing you guys some bits of the process that I was going through, and and some references how I found, the how how it actually became became a a character, and um, yeah, let's jump back to it right here, and I'm just gonna be showing you guys some of the bits I've I've done after after that um, the, fir the, the first part and what's been here is is I've, I've, I've gone and um, posed it yeah so this is the posing what I do is I use a T pose on the on the character and then send the T pose I send it to Mixamo yeah sounds uh, dirty cheap um, just to, to pose it because it's I find it's the easiest and, and really good way because um, you you send it you send the T pose to Mixamo and then from Mixamo with a rig and you can even leave the animation the rig and you you put it in Maya I use Maya for that and and you put them in the in the still pose the bind pose I think it's called and you just you just do any pose you want and then send send it back the the T pose um, the OBJ you send it back to ZBrush and then you just pose your character I think you find it easy enough um, there's loads of tutorials and that on on the T pose and that's what I do that's what I do it's a really really easy way to to pose my characters I don't really like um, I mean I, I do sometimes use the in in ZBrush tools for that but I I actually went and with this one anyway I went and done in Mixamo rig so yeah after that I've um, I've obviously got my um, yeah actually this is the low poly so the low poly uh, it's not that low but it's it's a hundred and nine points so it's, it's about a hundred polys uh, for the whole let me just get my pen for the whole um, 
for the whole character. So he's got quite a few details there. I think I've messed something up here whilst watching. Um, yeah, I've done something there. That's all right. Anyway, yeah, so it's two sub tools. So each each sub tool has got, it's got plenty in it. And yeah, 100, 100, 100 polys, 100k polys is, I think it's all right for this type of character. This is the, the high poly. And mm, it's got, it doesn't have that much details on the high poly. Maybe it could do a bit more looking now. I've not, I've not looked at the, so yeah, I could do a bit more details, bigger details maybe on there. Although, anyway, I've I've done that and um, yeah, I've named named it all properly for for the baking in substance. I use substance for baking. My maps. I, I don't know if it's the best way to do it. I'm not sure yet, but um, that's what I use at the moment. Um, I'm not happy about the ID maps. As you can see, I'm using here, I'm using uh, some like the colors where, and then I bake it in the substance for the ID map. So I can, yeah, of course you, you probably know about it. It's for, um, for selecting, selecting parts of my, um, of my mesh. Uh, for, for the different textures basically for different materials and that okay so what else here so I've I've done the so I've, I've made the FBX profiles FBX I don't use OBJ but if you do use OBJ you have to for the exporting each OBJ you have to undo the group button here I've just made um a custom button on my keyboard for it so I just go down and that button down so to do, do all the all the sub tools that's without writing any codes and that for the macros you could also do that if you know how to do it all right so what else what else what else I've done that and I've mm, I went to baking maps that's where I had my first troubles in substance beta um, because it's um, it's quite a complex, I would say. It's, it's quite a complex character with all those little bits here. Um, I wouldn't bother if I... I would make something bigger if I knew I had so much trouble with them. Plus, it's um, extra polys and, you know, it's actually... I don't know if I showed that before or not, but the tool... Yeah, let's go here, and I just want to... I just wanted to do something and show you guys. Right, let's so let's um, do this quickly and group by normals. Um, maybe not. Mm, yeah, let's let's do that. I'm just going to do something quickly here, so you guys see that it's actually a freaking sword in there basically I have my sub tool somewhere oh come on I have the sub tool somewhere on my tool somewhere with um ah oh, it doesn't work but it has it has actually a sword in there like that stylized tool and you can you can take it out of of the of the case uh, the sword case and this is obviously this was this was um, triangulated decimated yeah that's decimated it's called here and these are these over here are on like hinges um, so these potentially could be animated. I don't know if I said that in, in the last video, but so these could be moved and, uh, and opened as the, the idea was that when he, when he presses that on the ground, it kind of opens. So yeah, there you go. A bit of, um, bit of that. Um, yeah, so after that, I send it to Substance. That's why I had my problems and I knew it was something to do with the geometry. And here, if you, you do have the geometry mesh integrity check mesh in and fix mesh. 
but it doesn't it do, it doesn't find all of the non non manifold geometry, and this this is what I I I knew this was the problem. Um, actually, I've skipped the I've UV'd it in um, UV layout. I use I use UV layout for like uh, old school um, soft for UV coordinates. So I've I've done it there. Yeah, actually. I've done it in UV UV layout, and after that, actually, I had I had a problem with a lot of those. So, solo loads of these leaves and so on. See, so they're not leaves; they're kind of um, the sea seaweed type of leaves, maybe weeds and something like that um, so are these that is kind of um, an alien -y, uh, seaweeds was inspired and so all the all of these are different geometry which is a problem because if they're the same geometry basically they can be stuck on top of each other and I I didn't I didn't do it I didn't make it same geometry actually I did but then I've tried to optimize it I'll say why in a second um, so that was a problem I couldn't in UV space I couldn't stuck it on on top of each other as as, as if you would do um, hair strings same ha hair string strays on on the UV space just on top of each other and they they just they just um, you can just texture them because they're the same they share the same UV space coordinates. Um, I couldn't do that. I tried. It was lo loads of them are similar ones. So I tried to do maybe in bulks, the similar ones in bulks. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. This was the problem that now I know. But yeah, make sure you you have them same, completely same geometry, so you can stack them on top of each other. Or, or. Um, Another thing to do is is um, basically not do them, but basically do them in as as a whole piece. Maybe just make a seam somewhere where where it's not seen. Actually, that's a good idea to do that. But most of it would probably would um, probably be not as good for for the for the for the for the text for the texture um, but you could you could also what you could also do is yeah basically um, on a low model on a low poly not not do it the same way just do it do it in in a piece and then have your high poly bait bait on it and and have but I want I, I wanted to do them like this so it's, it's quite separate and that, and it's it's not too bad. I mean, I've I managed to do it. The only, the only thing I had to in the end, I had to use UDIMS for that because I had so much, so many things they just wouldn't fit in in the in the in the UV. The problem is that I went and wanted to make this model when I started it. I've seen there was there was a um, a competition, um, flip normals competition for fantasy fairy tales characters and when i've seen it i knew i've only started on this character and i thought oh wow this is this could be this would be great submission if i if i uh, get to finish it in time and i did finish it in time but yes it was you dims so that to in order to submit it you had to have 100 polys 100 um, triangles and polys 100k maximum and I think I've done a pretty good job as for having so much stuff put into it so many details and that but the, the problem was that I left it all till last last moment and like maybe last hour I've I've rendered it and it was uh, middle of night I have to work and uh, I've sent it in but because it was new to the forums and something it, it didn't get my submission Oh, I thought, wow, what a disappointment! Because I, I, I could have 
pretty good chances on there. And yeah, actually the, the winner was pretty good uh, characters and very well presented. So maybe I would get somewhat other places, not, not the first place obviously, but I could be an honorable mention at least. But I didn't because I was new to the forums and I couldn't put the submission out. It was blocking me from making threads and making um, a new, new... Obviously, I didn't keep the work, work in progress threads as well, which I should have. I don't know. I just didn't think about it. I just kept on doing it and doing it. And, it, and I never knew I was going to finish it in time. Cause, but I then, then I just sat down and, and finished loads in maybe a week um after work just sitting in and finishing it um let's get to the second part of the second part um when i finished that i went into substance i'm not going to open the substance uh, painter because there uh, what i did is basically um so yeah i had i had the problems with with the baking in order to bake maps good i had to i had to um put both models the high poly and low poly models into the blender because it has that really good really good thing uh 3d 3d print tool or something like that so it does a clean up for you it does you clean up to it finds the non ge non manifold geometry and then it cleans it up for you really really awesome tool um if you don't use it you probably sh you should you should use it i mean you can do that in maya as well but just in in blender i could i could it, it done a pretty good job for me so after that it was it was fine and uh, the maps baked but with some minor issues um, baking issues so I've rebaked it a few times tweaking um, the front front and rear ray distance and um, the dilation the dilation the one at the top um, where the apply the, where the diffusion apply diffusion um, button is at uh, the top the the runner at the top is dilation I think it, it so I've put it up a bit so I think it, normal one normal it's on like 30 32 on default so I've, I've put it maybe to to 38 42 and that that worked for me that got rid of some big big issues well the minor issues but they've seen like on face and that so i got rid of a lot i don't i don't know i couldn't find any answers in in the internet oh look at that baby but um what what I did is I tried I, I tried everything and I'm the person that just goes and bashes your head on until the, the wall crashes and you got yourself a result um yeah so I've got a result I baked the maps and I was so happy about that I thought oh god yes um and after that I've put some basic base uh, materials stylized materials on this feller and um, then I've put it for hand painting basically I've decided to hand paint it actually the submission I did wasn't hand painted it was maybe that's the part of a reason um, I wouldn't have won anyway so because it was it's a stylized tune but the the materials were a bit more uh, realistic materials and that so it was a bit weird as well I'm not even going to show it because it's not worth it but after that I've, I've looked at it and I have thought about it and I thought yes the, the, the obvious obvious problem here is that the the character is a cartoon is, is a toon stylized character fantasy kind of character and almost like Warcraft uh, Blizzard style character and I I decided to hand paint it so I've I've got into that because I do like painting and drawing and yeah so I, I've, I got into that and this is what I came up with 
coat. There's nothing really there, but let me just take my pen again. It's nothing really, really there, and you can see it's very stylized. They've got some basic, basic stylized texture on there, and I think that, that was enough. I mean, if I have maybe it's not oversaturated because it was a bit empty without all those things. Um, like here, you'd see this is really empty, but on here behind here, there is a backpack which you'll see in a second on the renders. Um, so I have changed colors down a little bit. So on the on the concept is a little bit different the colors. Um, other than that, is um, I th I'm pretty happy with the result. Um, it's a bit too stylized, I guess. A bit too stylized, but um, because the the other character that I said is a little bit has some realistic realistic materials on it although it's a stylized character but it has some realistic materials on it what i want to do in the future is i want to um make him also a hand painted one the the other character and maybe maybe i'll do a video of it how i do it and to have both kind of both versions and maybe see from there which one's better. I think it's it's not a bad idea to fight to try and research on your pet project. And yeah, and I had guys I have a few quite a few more characters there planned and they're just waiting to be made when I have time. Um yes by the way the time is is precious and why there was a big big pause in, because it, at the time i had to make a decision what to put aside and it had to be youtube at that time and so but hopefully now we're i'm back to the root of making those uh, videos for you guys and learning more and trying to to share it with you guys uh, after all we're we're I'm not. I'm not making tutorials. I'm. I'm just making videos of what I do. So, yeah, that was that was just a little saying that why why there was a big pause in the videos. So let's get back to this model. And yeah, as you can see, guys, I have used uh, quite a, a simple stylized textures here. Um, but I quite I quite like that. So yeah, let's jump to let's just jump to the the renders so you could see equipment as well because what I have here is only the model and I'm not going to open the equipment on its own. I'll just open the renders and well actually you can yeah let's see the first one the front view and yeah we see that here. Um, I'm quite happy with with what I had in the end with that render. I have some, uh, let's just go in a little bit. So the mask is quite fun. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. Uh, I mean, it's not very good quality here, but you'll see it closer up on the next one. The only trouble I have is with this, as I said, I'm not sure about it at all. Maybe you guys can give me a uh, Give me your um, ideas on is that any good or is that or is just me looking at it so much that I've lost um, I lost my um, appetite to it. I don't know. Although looking now, it's not that bad. It's it's not that bad. Yeah, I will might leave it as it is. Uh, yeah, I love his um, I love his um, ostrich legs. That's pretty cool. It's that an alien fawn with ostrich legs. Uh, yeah, you've got his his weapon, his uh, walking cane, walking stick, weapon thing. Is yeah, this was the last thing I was doing. I was I was already tired. I just wanted to to finish. Oh, I can't can't turn it around, can I? I'm quite happy with with the Googles and the mask. It's a separate thing, actually. The Googles are, are really, really good, I think. Although it's, there's there's not much on them. There's not much on them made, but it's I quite like the overall overall look of those. Um, that one that could be could be maybe worked on a little bit more and 
But as I said, I just I, I want it to finish it. I want it to I want it to be done with it. And then you got this um, backpack again. Not too happy with it. I don't like the this this bit here. This top um, top bit here. That's that looks quite good. So I'm, I'm actually I'm, I needed to make that same color looking now. Maybe some some same colors. And yeah, you got this little tree there. That little ecosystem on there. So that's pretty good. Then you got him without a mask. A few, few um, overviews of him from a, a bit from the side, from three quarters and um, front. It's, yeah, the up close up like that. It's um, the textures are a bit um, blurred now, but overall, overall pretty good. Um, yeah, you can see this. The backpack adds to to the emptiness behind. So it was it was all right. But as I said, I, I don't know. It's, it's something not odd with it. Maybe that blue blue back wall is not as. I tried to make it as as a, like a a metally worn metal thing that he is made from scraps. Maybe he's made his because. Uh, uh, the, the leaves here is on on a different planet. He's not from that planet, but he's uh, maybe he's he's been scavenging and found some, some or maybe he's brought it from from other planet. We don't know yet. We don't know that yet. Um. Yeah. So this is leaves the the alien fawn, the second part of of his uh, creation. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, a long-awaited second part of this of this um, series. Uh, I know I did. I, I I've been waiting for a long time, and I enjoyed it very much. Uh, it's great to be back. Um, hopefully, hopefully, uh, we get some more videos coming out soon, and I'll be explaining you. Um, some of the things, some of the motivational things that I had moving myself and transitioning to, to another profession. Doesn't matter what you do, it could be it could be art that you want to transition in, it could be anything else. It works for, for anyone. It's just it's just uh, some life life things that we could talk with some uh, candles put on and, and some tea. Uh, guys, it's really, really great to be back. I'm repeating myself now. It's time to finish it. And all the best. Please subscribe. Consider subscribing. Leave me a comment. Leave me some feedback on, on the videos. And if it helps at least one person, then I'm not doing it for nothing, am I? So I'm, I'm, I'm happy then. We can learn together because after all, this is a CG art gym. I'm not the teacher here. This is not tutorials. This is just my experiences, my mistakes. You can learn from my mistakes, guys. All the best. Great to have you back and goodbye.